today I'm gonna be exposing Amp World. I'm gonna be going through a tier list made up of all of the Amp members from who I like the most to who I dislike the most. I'm a little worried to make this video, but I think I think it just needs to be done. Let's start spilling the tea. This is scary, guys. We're gonna be diving deep. So basically, in my last video exposing Amp, I gave you guys my honest opinions and thoughts of all of them, and I've had interesting experiences with every single person in the group. There's gonna be some filled with drama. So let's get started with Ben. All right, Ben Azalart. In the last video, I told you guys I love Ben. Honestly, I think he's such a good dude, but I was in one of his videos and basically I got asked the question of how many colors are in the rainbow and I guessed wrong. Six! Incorrect. Player 455 is- What do you mean? What the hell? Ever since then, I've had some views towards the guy. I could have won that competition if I didn't get a rigged question. I'm going to put Ben, after all of that information, I'm gonna put him in go. I love Ben. Every time I see him, I think he's so funny. I think he's so nice. Like, I don't know. I just look up to him a lot and he's just a really, really good person. And I mean, there's nothing that leads me to put him any lower than a goat. So yeah. All right, on to the next person, Andrew Davila. All right, Andrew is hilarious. Amazingly funny guy. I think his humor is the closest thing to mine out of the whole group But something I'm mad about towards him for about three years. I, th I think I've known him for three years He's one of the only people in AMP that didn't add me back on snapchat I added him three years ago now and I'm still not added but I take that very personally My longest streak is like 400 days that could have been you Andrew that could have been you So I'm gonna put you in pretty cool. You're not a goat only goats add me on snapchat. All right on to the next Oh no, oh no, not this person, oh no. All right guys, the next person, Sydney Smiles. Boy, do I have some things to say about her. Well guys, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't think I've ever had a conversation with Sydney, okay? I've been to the amp house, I've been to the amp warehouse, and I still don't think we've ever spoken. Like we've seen each other, but like, I don't think I ever said like hi or she ever said hi. I got beef with her. How could you have beef without talking to someone. Well, I have beef because I made the truth about Amp World video and then she posted the same video. And then her video did better than mine. I mean, my video was kind of trash compared to hers. Hers was a lot better, but I got beef. I got mega beef. And you know what she did? She made a second one of the same video. And it did so well. And that's why I'm making this video. I'm trying to beat Sydney's video. Her second video. Is that 204K? I hope I can beat that. I probably can't. I'm, I'm averaging like 2K views, if that. I mean, I don't know. She looks like a sweet girl. Everyone says that she's super sweet. But because her video did better than mine twice, <laughs> I'm going to put her in semi-cool. She's a better YouTuber than me. So I'm just, I'm just butt hurt. That's straight up just how it is. All right, the next person I'm going to be putting on the tier list is Lexi Rivera. Lexi is a literal angel. I have nothing bad to say about her. So hilarious, so nice, so kind, is so smiley. Like I don't know anyone that smiles more than Lexi. I mean, I might as well put Lexi up in goat tier. I literally can't think of anything bad to say about Lexi. So Dom Brack. All right, Dom. I see Dom maybe like once a month, maybe twice a month. If anyone films at our house or if I have to go help Pearson film at the Amp House or Brent's house or something. So I barely see Dom. We don't really like text or anything, but like I said in my last video, I used to work with him. I think I made a few thumbnails. It wasn't a lot, but I made a few thumbnails for him and we don't really text each other. I mean, he's a good good dude to hang out with. I like, I like going out to events and he's there. Like he's a comfort person. I don't know, we just don't really talk all that much like when I hang out with for example Ben or Lexi I feel like I have like long in-depth deep conversations with them and Dom I don't think we've ever had that I'm gonna put him in pretty cool with Andrew just because we we literally I don't think we've ever gotten like that close and I think he would agree live swearing Jen it's funny because she was literally just outside my room filming with Pearson five minutes ago I love live 
She's so nice. She's literally the nicest person I've ever met. I was literally talking to a friend the other day about how nice she is. I feel like for in my experience in life, it's hard to find good people that just, you know, are just straight vibes. If that makes sense, that just click with you. I think she's one of those people. She's so funny. She's so talented. And I mean, there's just, there's nothing but good things to say about her too. I know we haven't known each other for a really long time. Like I think it's only been a year. She's just an amazing person. It's hard. It's hard to describe it's so weird talking about these people because some of them are like tight i feel like i see live every single week and that is definitely not the case with some other people in the group yeah live i'm putting in goat tier the next person is jeremy hutchins jeremy and i have a long history him and i worked together for probably like a year i was editing his videos i was making thumbnails i don't remember for how long but i think it was around a year long there was a lot that i was doing with jeremy but i think that we have absolutely distanced since I worked with him. Obviously, when you're working with someone, you see them all the time, you talk to them all the time. Like him and I were playing video games, this game called Fun Run on our phones. We were playing Clash Royale. Like we were playing tons of video games and pretty much after I stopped working with him, we just kind of distanced. It wasn't like a bad thing, I would say, but I just definitely don't feel as close. Like every time I see him, it's always good vibes, you know? It's, it's, never, it's never any like weird energy going on. I used to talk to him literally every single day of the week and I think it sucks that it's never gonna go back to that. I still have a lot of love for him and I think that he's honestly grown up a lot and I look up to him too. There's a lot of things that he's accomplished that I would like to also accomplish so I just, great guy, but I definitely feel like we have distanced. So I would have put him in goat tier if I just talked to him a little bit more, like if there wasn't that distance, but I'm gonna put him in pretty cool. Okay, on to the last two people. <sighs> okay, so the next person is Pearson. I have to expose her. Actually, I don't even think I need to say anything here, guys. <laughs> no, just kidding. Obviously, Pearson is amazing. Uh, best sister. Could not have asked for anyone better. Eventually, one day, I'll explain how much she's supported me, and hopefully I can give that back to her, but she, I mean, she's just amazing. Sorry guys, if I let you down, if you wanted me to put her somewhere else, that would be really funny. Okay, on to the last person. I don't even know what to rank this person. Brent Rivera. I used to be a fan of him back in 2013. The Vine days. I think that he's honestly the worst, the worst. He's going, no. I don't want anything to do with him. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Obviously, Pierce and him are very close. Sometimes I can't decide whether I love him or I hate him. In my overall conclusion of Brent, I will put him, um, ooh, this is so tough. Well, he's a nice guy. He's really funny, super talkative, outgoing, but also him and Pearson. I don't know, I'll put him in they cool. He's I. Right. What, what Brent? You want more? You have to earn it. I think I'll leave Brent and they cool. I have a love-hate relationship with him. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I love you so much, and I will catch you guys later.